Ik denk dat die boot toevallig langs is gevaren en dat er een groep mensen ja, iets hebben gezien op die boot. En dat ze daarop af zijn gegaan. Ja, mensen die ergens naartoe gaan. Er, mensen die ergens heel graag naartoe willen. Ik zie nou volgens mij ook dat elke persoon er los op is uh, gezet. Ja, ik ga denken als ik het zie. Ik denk, waar gaan ze heen? Maar ik vind het wel een grappige foto, ja. Of uh, schilderij. Niet heel veel vragen op, zeg maar. Wat voor vragen roepen we tot dan? Ja, waar ze naartoe redden. Maar ik moet nou zeg maar mijn pond redden, anders kom ik te laat op school. Oké, okay, goed. Dus, uh, Dankjewel. Hè? Waarvoor is het gefilmd trouwens? Het is voor Dream Amsterdam. Au, oh, oké. Okay. Goed. Oké. Okay. I, I finished my high school, you know, when I was when I was 18. I didn't really know what to do, but I I got a camera and I I started playing with it. I was not to go to school in writing and stuff like that. So using the camera, I thought, wow, it's a way of telling a story which I've never been able to to do before. I got a job at a newspaper. Of course, uh, at the newspaper, you're not you're not allowed to to manipulate or play with the images in a computer. That's a, like that's a no go. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't do that. But uh, it, it's always been my fascination, you know, to telling another story that you really see. It, you know, telling a story like you see in a film or in a cartoon or you know something like that. So I always wanted to try to make another story than actually happening. I like these uh, traffic points in the city, where uh, you know, uh, where where uh, different parts of the city is connected. Like I uh, use the north side of the uh, Amsterdam. I use the central station. I use Schiphol. Yeah, I use Bijmer. I, I sit down on a street corner uh, for 10, 15 days and shoot the people passing by. And then at home, I, or at my studio, I uh, I categorize the people of whatever the you know significant is. Uh, and then taking one category and putting that into one image. I have categories of people wearing red, I have categories of people having uh, yellow envelopes, I have uh, categories of people walking their dog, I have categories of people smoking a, smoking a cigarette, I have uh, people uh, walking with the flowers in the street. It's about uh, combining all the single moments into one bigger image. Like you do a painting, you know, you just you make a background, you shoot all the elements and put that into one image. I came to Amsterdam on a little holiday. Remember, I was very fascinated with the, how, how everything was uh, very organized, everything was uh, it was very clean and all the, you know, all the bike tracks were, you know, straight and then you had the tracks for the cars and, and all the, you know, it was really like a doll city, doll, doll houses in a doll city, it was really beautiful. Um, and there was a lot of people and people on bikes as well, and of course you'll, you notice that immediately. Mm -hmm. When you see many do the same in an image, it kind of give a certain, uh, it gives some kind of magical moments which you, you don't notice if you see that as a, a, a lone standing moment. Mm. I have here the background and I have a, one person which has been shot at that specific, you know, at that location. She's looking at the clock. And then I have another guy looking at the clock. And then you, I just continue that way and then you build it all up and 
you have a whole scene with people looking at, uh, at the clock at the same time. And that's, my, that's the principle for my images. For me, this is, you know, being a photographer uh, has always been, okay, I don't want to have a uh, job where I go from nine till five or eight till four or whatever, how you define it. I want to have something, you know, I really enjoy to do. You know, it's going to be a, a game or a play for me to be at work every day. So uh, I think that's a very, very important uh, thing that you should definitely have fun with what you're doing. I just did all the mistakes, all, all the possible mistakes, you know, them, them I did. So learning that way, which okay. was fun. So don't be afraid to make mistakes? No, no, no. I mean, don't be nervous about that because that's uh, rather just do the stuff and see what happens instead of thinking too much about it.